What's going on guys, Bengal again, you're coming back at you with another video today back on Mad 19 franchise featuring the New York Giants. As today, we have a very special episode, our conference championship at home versus the Los Angeles Rams. But before we get into it, we do have some players to upgrade, but we'll also check out the weekly awards as, you know, no shock here, Lorenzo Carter wins the NFC Defensive Player of the Week, nine tackles, three interceptions, and then Aaron Rodgers, Le'Veon Bell, and Jalen Ramsey, maybe the three best respectively at their position in the entire NFL, and then Lorenzo Carter is not quite there yet. We also have some players to upgrade, and quite a few, I will add. Morris Dubose, Lorenzo Carter, Eric Faison, J.W. Hilton, Patrick Wright, and then Grant Webster. Uh, pretty much most of these guys don't matter. J.W. Hilton's important. And then, uh, of course, Morris Dubose is as we're going to go once again into zone. Hopefully, we get a big zone boost this time. It's only one thing, and it is zone coverage, and that is a big boost to zone coverage. Plus three. As you see, he goes up to 90 zone coverage. I believe that's playing with confidence. It might only be at an 88 right now. I'm not 100% sure on that. And then for Lorenzo Carter, he might be our eventual middle linebacker. So what do we want to do for him? How do we want to get him better? Tackling, probably. Probably tackling. So we're going to go into Run Stuffer, if that's an option, and Run Stopper is. It also fits the scheme. He goes up to an 81 overall with confidence. Plus 4 awareness, plus 2 block shedding, plus 1 play rec. Doesn't quite fit the scheme yet, uh, but it doesn't really matter. Eric Faison. We'll go into Pass Protector. Why not? That makes him an 80 overall with that plus 3 confidence. Uh, not major boost, though, I will say. J.W. Hilton, the starting right guard. We're not really going to focus on power. Just going to get him as good as he can be. So we're going to go into Agile there. And J.W. Hilton's upgraded slightly. Plus one speed is big. I like that. That gives him 73 speed. Patrick Wright. He's pretty solid overall. 83 block shot, 81 power moves. It's just his awareness probably lets him down. His play rec probably lets him down. But he's a very good backup defensive tackle. We might as well go into uh, to run stopper to fit the scheme so he gets extra XP. So I didn't even see what he got, but he is boosted. Plus one blocks that I saw for sure. And then Grant Webster, doesn't matter. He's the backup center. We'll go into power. Why not? So those are the upgrades. And I don't really want to do anything else for the episode other than play the game. We got a pretty good team. 87 offense, 91 defense. It is a, uh, it's a solid group of guys. So now all that's left to do is uh, meet the Rams in East Rutherford, New Jersey. We're better overall, but can we play like it? That remains to be seen. Rams, Giants, and it's going to be a snow game. That's always a fun thing. Snow game from MetLife Stadium. The fireworks still going off anyway. And this should be a very interesting game in the snow. This will be maybe the first time in the series that we've played in snow, which is kind of cool, but that also means this is as far as we've gone in the playoffs and in the season so far. So we're not messing around anymore. This is the NFC Conference Championship. This is to get to the Super Bowl. We are one game away. I know I'm going to hear it in the comments section if we lose, so I am not trying to. Pittsburgh and Jacksonville is the AFC Conference Championship, so that's going to be a pretty good game. Let's just control what we can control, though. doesn't matter who we're facing in the Super Bowl. Let's do what we can do to get there first. Got to go through the ramps. Doesn't really feel all that much like a snow game, if I'm being honest. Not 100% sure why, but it just doesn't really have that feeling for me. But Todd Gurley's going to be a pain to shut down all game. We're going to try and do what we can. Six yards on that one. Play action. Try me deep down the middle. They're going to go deep down the middle. That's not what we want. Obi Melifonwu is torched in coverage. And that's just too deep down the middle. I meant, like, with the user. <laughs> Robert Woods. No, excuse me. Brandon Cooks. Robert Woods didn't have that type of speed. He's wearing 17. Brandon Cooks, 60-plus yards to the end zone. Uh, not a great start for the defense. I also will mention we now have Morris Dubose returning kicks for us. 99 speed. We got to get him touching the ball more. And he plays cornerback, so he doesn't really do that. We return it to where we would have if we had uh, just need the ball in the end zone, settle for the touchback. We got to get points on the board. We get Odell on the slant over the middle. He's going to step up field. I don't know. I like to truck, but not that effective with a guy like Odell. I'll take the first down regardless. First and ten. Somebody's got to get open. And Odell Beckham Jr. is. And what a pass from Kyle Laletta. Odell's going to spin inside the 20. 
That's got to be Evan Ingram. End zone. Drag your feet. Come on, man. We had him. Ball maybe a little long from Kyle Oletta there. Odell's back into the game now. That's going to be pretty big for us. We'll see who we decide to go to here, here on third down. Lobbing it over the head of the linebacker to Odell, and it's way too long. Laletta misses an easy first down, and we're going to settle for a field goal attempt, which certainly will not be easy here in the snow. Hopefully we drill it, and the kick from Aldrich Rosas is through the uprights and good. Only down by four now. Just got to play a lot better defense than what we just did. That's for sure. Oh, that's open over the middle. Trying to rip the ball out with Morris Dubose. Can't quite do it. Robert Woods gets it first down. That is so open. What is the defense doing, man? Jared Goff is four for five for 100 yards. We're just getting torched. It's going to be a big third down and 11. Just keep it in front, please. We're going to play the sticks to maybe ensure that that happens. And that's going to be just a check down. Just wrap up Ty Gurley. BJ Goodson does just that. We're going to hold them to a field goal try. I assume they're going to make it, which would put the score at 10 to 3. Just a touchdown game. We'll get the ball back. We'll score. Everything will be fine. And the kick is good. Give me, give me some time. I'm going to throw that ball to Odell. It's deep. And it is not on target. Kyle Aletta misses Odell Beckham Jr. again. Third and 15. Just give me somebody to throw the ball to. I'm trying to get it to triangle, man. Just don't have the time. Pressure gets in. It's fourth and 15. And my strategy did not work. We do not manage to score. Okay. Make the stop, man. Third and two, Todd Gurley finds, finds the first down. This defense has got to step up, man. We cannot allow the Rams to just drive down the field with such ease on us. All right, big third and nine. And they throw to Gerald Everett. We're not allowing that. Incomplete. We're going to roll out. I didn't really like anything open. Let's move Saquon, and let's throw him the ball. Saquon Barkley, the receiver, getting involved, and... We're finally moving the chains, getting a first down. I think that's just what we needed. Evan Ingram down the field. We got him. Over the head of the defense. That's where his speed comes in handy. And uh, I don't know. I felt like the rest were trying to screw us when we tried to throw the ball away. And they call it intentional grounding. I mean, there's no way. Four rushes, two yards for Saquon Barkley. Can't really get it going against this Rams defense just yet, but we're going to find our rhythm, we're going to find the groove, and we are going to uh, keep pounding the rock and, and trying to get first downs that way. And that's a good block. Saquon Barkley, it feels like he just never got up to any gear there. He was just, like, stuck in first gear. He didn't didn't push it up. I don't, I don't know. He felt real slow. All right, tell me we got it here. Yep, just inside the left upright. And uh, we're only down by four. Again, in a you know, familiar spot. Ten to six. A lot of time left. I'm not worried. Oh, they're going to take another deep shot. We got to make the play. Obi Melifonwu with the interception. And is somehow down. Did Cooper Cup touch Obi Melifonwu? Mm, I don't know about that one. Are we playing college rules? What's going on here? That is not a great throw. Odell catches it, though. That was super close. I thought about going to the wheel route for Sterling Shepard. We maybe had it over the top. Didn't know if I had the time. Decided to throw it to our best offensive playmaker, arguably, up there with Saquon Barkley. But uh, I don't know how he managed to catch that one. That was not a good throw. And neither really is that one. I mean, you can find Red Ellison, but that I don't think that ball was exactly where it needed to be. Kyle Laletta in the playoffs here is uh, struggling a little bit. Get out, Kyle. Just run. Speed up. I'll take it. Third and 21 after a sack fumble where, uh, again, it's just like a slow release. Couldn't really let me get the ball off. But we have Odell, and Kyle Laletta has missed it again. We're going to settle for another field goal try, and these are not easy field goals. They have just snuck through. It's hard to kick with no kick arc in the snow. And there we go. Uh, 
Aldrich Rosas misses wide right on a 42-yard field goal, and we get nothing from that drive. That's mine. User pick, BJ Goodson. I, the Lorax, I don't... I know I recycle these children's book references all the time, but there are only so many children's books, and if I'm going to get a user pick, I don't know, two, maybe sometimes three times in an episode, it gets, it gets difficult. Third and ten, let's just get into better field goal range. We got Saquon Barkley out of the backfield. It's going to set us up on the 30, and we're going to try this field goal essentially over again. Here we go. Hopefully that one's drilled, and it is going to be essentially right down the middle as we have three field goals today. Audrey Gross is three for four, and we lose right now. Uh, we're losing 10 to nine, so we need to get in the end zone. We need to find pay dirt. Third and four. Let's set up a two-minute drill for Kyle Aletta. Good play by BJ Goodson. Pass incomplete, and we should have pretty much two minutes to drive down the field and score. We could take the lead before half. The defense has stepped up. Exactly what we needed. Morris Dubose is going to have a shot to return this. I mean, it's 99 speed. I mean, you see, anytime he touches the ball, it's just electric for a second or two. He's not exactly uh, agile. There is no safety help over the top on that right side. We are running a screen, and we'll probably look to throw it. And it's going to be a sack fumble. He just, he just doesn't throw the ball quickly enough ever. And there are three guys covering the screen anyway. Screens in Madden 19 are not effective because the defense always plays the screen every single time. And even when you try to throw the ball anyway, he still can't get the ball off quickly enough. How many sack fumbles have we seen this year? It seems like every time I'm sacked, he's fumbling. You got to make the play. BJ Goodson knocks it down to himself and then drops the interception. Kick is up and no good. Just wide left and we can score before the half. We have time, we have a ton of time. Plus, not gonna call a screen. Plus three timeouts. We only have to go about 60 yards, we can do this. All right, come on defense. Nope, that's not what I mean. Come on offense. Underneath, it's complete to Odell. We're not gonna get out of bounds though. I have to call a timeout. That's fine. We're in field goal range-ish. We have six seconds. We're not going to settle for the 55-yard attempt. We got a timeout. We're going to hand the ball off to Saquon Barkley. And we're going to try to get right down the middle. We've got the win, hopefully, with us. I don't remember. And just get down quickly. And uh, that's exactly what we do. Yeah, they, they let us through there. <laughs> we just got to dive down. I probably should have uh, held LT. A better animation but this is a way more manageable field goal 44 yards i'm not going to move the left stick hopefully right down the middle got everything lined up and the kick is essentially right down the middle we take the lead for the first time all game at 12 to 10. not great third and 16. i don't really like anything we have r1 maybe but like it's, it wouldn't be a significant completion. So I'm not going to throw across the field to do that. We're going to roll out to where nobody is, which is exactly what they teach you. And we're going to have to punt again. Third and one. We are crowded near the line. If they hand the ball to Todd Gurley, we got to shut this down. It's going to be a handoff up the middle. Damon Harrison and OV Olivier Vernon combine to make the tackle behind the line. And this, if you ask me, is going for our territory from about midfield, fourth and three. It is a close game, though. I understand the punt. And we're going to field this one with Morris Dubose. And turn on the Jets. It's 99 speed. Got to beat one. Way to block, Lorenzo Carter. You got right in my way after the spin move to dodge uh, Rameek Wilson, maybe? Could be a crazy player. I know Rameek Wilson's not on the Rams in real life. I think he's on the Chiefs. Trying to run on this Rams defense seems uh, completely pointless. It seems so pointless. They have Aaron Donald, Dominic Sue. I mean, Lord knows what else. It's third nine. I'm not going to run the ball here from the 32, uh, even though it is a, a long third down. We'll see what we can do here, if anything. And um, it's going to be uh, 
Throwing too late to Saquon, and we're going to punt. Bounce, bounce right. There we go. Fantastic punt from Riley Dixon to pin the Rams on the three. Shut it down. Oh, just out of the end zone. They are going to face third and 12 from the one yard line, and we are going to send heat. Get there. Someone shut down Todd Gurley. He's dancing around. Come on. Looking for the safety. Can't find it. But uh, I will take the punt. And we're going to have excellent field positioning. They're against the wind, I think. Yeah, this is this is barely past the 50. Dubose with speed. He's going to muff it a little bit. Trying to find space at that 99 speed is so helpful. And he's going to take it to the 45. I mean, nine rushes for 19 yards for Saquon. We cannot run the ball at all. But hopefully we can pass the ball here on third down and eight. We're going to have uh, two reads. going to be the tight end first and then uh, Odell. So, I mean, you can call it three. And, oh, my God. Oh, I, I wanted to throw to Red Ellison. We have Odell, though. I just I don't trust Red Ellison's speed over the top. That was the only reason I didn't throw that ball. Rolling out. I don't want to throw that to X. I do, though. We got him. Howard Russell. End zone. Touchdown. It's just such a risky throw because you never know how the defense is going to play that. But Howard Russell gives us our first touchdown of the entire game here in the third quarter. Extra point with Aldrich Rosas should be good. It's going to be 19-10 to Giants. What an odd score. Get after the quarterback. Pick it off, Landon. Come on. Trying to get the ball out from behind. This is not going to do it. Man, I was so close for a number of reasons. We're getting no heat. We, we got to get after the quarterback. We have nothing today. Oh, it's play action. Get back. Get back. That's wide open. Robert Woods inside the 20. This is too easy for the Rams right now. Fourth quarter time. Bear down, defense. Come on. It's going to be a run. Shed, shed. Somebody get after Todd Gurley. The only reason he's even down is because he fell down. That's bad. They're going to check down. Third and four. Wrap up. I think Todd Gurley stepped out of bounds. It didn't give me the X tackle. It's going to be fourth and inches. And the Rams are going to settle for a field goal. That's best case scenario for our defense, really. We've got a very small lead here over the Rams. They keep stacking the box. They're just asking for us to take a chance, but I'm, I don't want to risk it. We'll take our chance with Saquon Barkley. I'll take that first down, his longest run of the game. Just keep stacking the box again and again and again and again. We have the personnel to make them pay. There's Odell. It's a little short. Odell's going to stay up, though. He'll take a spin move as well. What a play. Third and ten. We got DeMar Jacobs. He seldom gets on the field, but he's a big receiver. Six foot six. Mainly a possession guy. He doesn't really have the most speed, which is uh, why we don't see him very often. He also does not have the best spectacular catching abilities, but he's on the field now. On first down and ten. It's Howard Russell and DeMar Jacobs. We're going to check down, though, to Jarrell Adams for a very small gain. Second and ten. Show me something. Odell. Odell. Beckham Jr. Touchdown. And he finally finds the end zone today. And it's going to extend our lead to 25 to 13. Of course, looking to uh, get that even more. A two-point conversion to make it 27 to 13, which is the equivalent, and two got caught up. It doesn't matter. We had Evan Ingram, but two touchdown game now. 6.46 to play. The Rams are going to have to do a hell of a lot to get back in this game at this point. There is significant time still, but based on the way our offense has moved, other than their first big touchdown of the game, this is not an offense that can score points quickly. Our defense is just too good. That's going to be a lob pass, and somehow complete to Brandon Cooks. That's tough. As you can see on the bottom ticker, the Jaguars win 28 to 25 and will be in the Super Bowl versus the winner of this game. And it's still up in the air right now who that's going to be. 
And that's going to be very, very close to the end zone there. They're going to be down at the one. Clock's ticking, though. I'm not sure the Rams are playing with that sense of urgency that they need to. 3.30 to play. We just got to shut this down. We're going to use your Antoine Todd. And that is a, that's got to be a false start. That's got to be a false start. I think it's going to be. Which will be first and goal from the six. False start. It is. Offense. All right. This is better. Shut it down. Ellis offered from behind after the missed tackle from B.J. Goodson. Brings down Todd Gurley, who also has had a little bit of trouble getting going today. Second and goal from the seven. Do not break defense. I don't, I don't like where, where we are in the field. It's going to be tough to cover the entire middle. And Cooper Cup can't haul it in. B.J. Goodson gets a hand in there and drives it out. Third and goal from the seven. Step up defense. No touchdowns. Oh my goodness, that's open but out of bounds. It will be fourth down. They got to go for it here. They have to. Two minutes and 43 seconds to play. Still enough time for them. Unfortunately, we're going to move B.J. Goodson right there. Lorenzo Carter, we're going to play right there. Start with Brandon Cooks and then rotate if we have to. And they're going to throw it. What? Oh my God, man. Cooper Cup gets into the end zone for the touchdown. I got to see this again. I have to. So Cooper Cup is uh, being flanked by, looks like Janoris Jenkins here. And he gets by him. Obi Melifanwu shades to the outside. And then we have three guys about right to the ball. Somehow Antoine, or excuse me, not Antoine, Todd. Obi Melifanwu doesn't get a hand on this ball. I don't know, man. That's absolutely ridiculous. And uh, they're going to be down by a touchdown. All right. Two minutes and 40 seconds to essentially kill the clock. We have a seven-point lead. We're turning on two clock. It's going to be it's gonna be necessary. Oh, Saquon Barkley. Don't do it to him. Spins off one. Saquon Barkley to the 15-10. Five, celebrating, touchdown. Saquon Barkley, 75 yards of the house, orange justice. You guys know about that, but we got now 34 to 20. We don't even get to have the 120 seconds of possession time that we were looking for because Saquon Barkley extends the lead to 14 points, two touchdowns after 12 seconds. 75 yards to the house after nothing the entire game. All it takes is one broken tackle and Saquon, say gone. Touchdown, Saquon Barkley. Oh, that's gonna be a lob ball. Somebody make the play. Landon Collins assists Janoris Jenkins and we're not gonna allow Cooper Cup any more of those ridiculous catches where the defender mysteriously does not play the ball somehow and it sneaks in through three defenders they just can't touch it. It's a force field. Perfect throw. Best throw I've ever seen. Still wide open for Cooper Cup. Can we? somebody fucking cover this guy? That's got to be a pick. Janoris Jenkins just never plays the ball. How do you not play the ball there? We're letting him drive down the field easily. Somebody better shut this down. We have Tedrick Thompson on somebody over there. I think it's hopefully not Cooper Cup. Third and eight. A minute 30 to play. How are you letting that get open, Morris Dubose? It's a streak. You have 99 speed. I expect better. I mean, we can still win this game. We got the lead. But we're doing anything we can to throw it away. And he came back in bounds after stepping out of bounds. It's not going to count. We're stopping it over the middle. And that's a sack from behind. Olivier Vernon. That's what she said, kind of. Third and goal, a minute to play. Just step up when we need to. We need to stop. I'd love the first sack of the game, but that's going to be back of the end zone. Just out of bounds. Fourth and goal from the eight. They're wasting a lot of time. I don't know. How, no one's getting pressure. And that's out of the back of the end zone. We're getting no pressure this game at all. I haven't seen anyone even come close to Jared Goff. They're going to review this. Tell me it's not. 
It's upheld, thank God. We get a big block here, we're gonna be in business. And uh, two guys decide to block the same guy and Saquon Barkley gets out of bounds. The hell, dude. That is the ball game as we win 34 to 20 at home over the Los Angeles Rams. I don't know, put on a jacket, maybe Sean McVay, it's snowing and probably very cold. We do manage to get the win. That was a very up and down game, very close there at the end and the beginning throughout. Uh, wasn't exactly the most high scoring. We did put up some good points there at the end of the game. But that was that was absolutely a fun one. And uh, we're lucky to come out here with the win. We didn't really play all that well. So as you guys now know, we have made it to the Super Bowl. Obviously, you can't play the Pro Bowl. But we can view the Pro Bowl roster. And we're going to do that. It doesn't really make sense to do it for the Super Bowl episode. Out of the NFC, we have Saquon Barkley. Kyle Aletta made it as QB3. I'll take that. You guys can see, you know, everyone who's in it, but we're just going to be focusing on Giants players. We got our fullback, who doesn't start anymore. But what, Sean Erickson, maybe? Odell Beckham Jr. is in here. At tight end, really, Evan Ingram's not in there. He had a pretty good season. Will Hernandez made it, and no other Giants on the O-line. And then on defense, we got Roman Pugh, the rookie out of UCLA. We got Damon Harrison. Of course, Barkevius Mingo made the Pro Bowl. Unreal. Jadoris Jenkins made it. Interesting. So that's pretty cool to see. And then nobody else. Riley Dixon, actually. And Aldrich Rosas. I didn't even look at them. But uh, yeah, pretty interesting season. The weekly award winners, by the way, was uh, Odell Beckham Jr., who had a phenomenal game. He sometimes goes under the radar, but seven catches for 163 and a touchdown is just off the charts. Incredible. Dominic Sue, of course. Two, uh, two tackles for uh, two tackles, excuse me, three sacks and four fumble, and then Big Ben and then Malik Jackson had three sacks. We got to face that defense next, and I am not excited for that one, but I am excited for the Super Bowl. Super Bowl week against the Jaguars. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Yeah,